So I had a friend tell me about an email that he received from a wealthy dying woman wanting to share her inheritance with him. And he was a little suspicious. But I said, hey, if you aren't gonna take her up on that offer, I will. This video is sponsored by Surfshark VPN. Secure your digital life and access content safely. And check out the link in my description to get 85% off and three additional months for free. Now back to the story. So he forwarded me this email from a stranger named Nora Mustafa that said, Hello sir, please read my email and kindly reply however it may please you. I know you may be wondering why I am contacting you, but I believe that everything happens for a reason. It may seem a little difficult to believe in things over the internet, but please give me a little attention to explain my situation. I ask you to take a minute and read it before deleting. Nora, I'm all ears. My name is Nora Bat Mustafa, widow of the late engineer Abdul Alwad Mustafa, owner of large construction companies in his country, UAE and beyond. I'm originally from Houston, Texas, and my parents have been deceased for many years, but unfortunately I only visited Texas a couple of times my entire life. I don't have any child. I am currently suffering from esophageal cancer for a long time and it's very obvious now that money cannot save me. So I don't deserve your pity, but prayers because I'm dying soon. This poor woman. From all indications, my condition is really deteriorating and it is obvious that I will not live more than a month. According to my doctors and coupled with the chaos COVID-19 pandemic is causing in the world right now. I can still feel it in my bones. I am currently in a hospital receiving treatment without improvements. Beauty, wealth, and expensive things cannot save my life. So I beg you to take this message seriously and see me as your blood sister and help me in this divine project, as I have no one else. I'll explain in detail when I get an answer from you. God bless you. Nora Batten Mustafa. Okay, how sad is this? I write back and I say, Nora, your email was forwarded to me. I am sorry for your condition. What can be done to help you? Ben. And not too long later, she responds and she says, greetings, my dear. Thanks for your response and concern. Okay, this email goes on forever. She talks about how her husband left her $3.5 million and she wants to give it to me because she thinks that God will work through me to bless those most in need. When I get a reply after your prayers, it will enable me to give you full details about the procedures. I am very weak and sick, so please kindly hasten up in your response. Please assure me that you will handle this project with a clean heart. I will be glad to hear from you soon. Thanks, Mrs. Nora Batten Mustafa. Out of all the fish in the sea, she chose me. She wants me to be the recipient of $3.5 million. I could put that money to good use. So I immediately wrote back and I said, Nora, I'm so sorry, but I'm humbled by your generosity. What can I do for you, Ben? And then I get another long email about how her health is deteriorating fast and I need to get in touch with her lawyer because there's some security box where all the assets are stored. I give her a little bit of my personal information saying that my name is Benjamin Dover. Do you get it? Ben Dover? <laughs> so she writes back again with this long email about how her husband built railroads for the government and she has the power to do whatever she wants with the money. She then provides me a certificate of deposit that I need to send to her lawyer at Steptoe Law Firm whose name is Philip Morgan. I guess it looks official? So I forwarded the email to Philip with the document and I say, attention Philip Morgan, please see the attached document. Please advise on how we are to proceed, Ben. And wouldn't you know, the lawyer writes me back and says, hello to you. I was informed by Mrs. Nora Bat Mustafa with regards to the claim transfer of the deposited trunk box with Speedpost Courier Security Company. As you would know, the trunk box was deposited as a confidential family valuable item by Mrs. Nora, so the security company is not aware that there is money in the trunk box. However, the amount deposited in the trunk box is $3.5 million. Kindly reconfirm these information below, which are required for the proper documentation, blah, blah, blah. The content of this email is highly sensitive and confidential and is for your personal reference only. Do not on any account disclose the content of the document to a third party. Oops. Looking forward to your response. Yours faithfully, Philip Morgan. Okay, so I wrote back and I said, yes, sir, the info is correct. 
Then Philip wrote back and he said, attention, Benjamin. Thank you for your patience. I will be representing you in the claims process of the deposited trunk box to ensure swift approval. You are to pay a consultation fee of 250 United States dollars and a further $150 for the legal change of certificate approved in a court. Here we go, there's always a catch. I've got to pay $400 to get my 3.5 million. This is when I realized that this all might be a scam and Nora has no intention of paying me anything. So I go to Steptoe Law Firm's website to look for a professional under the name of Philip Morgan. And I see nothing. Really, scammers, you could at least steal the identity of an actual lawyer. But I want to see how far this thing will go. So I write back to Philip and I say, let's proceed. And then he writes me back with information on where to send the money. And to my surprise, he wants me to send the money to someone with a bank account in Michigan. And yes, I am censoring the information because I don't know how involved this person is. And the last time that I showed someone's personal information, y'all went and delivered 100 pizzas to their house. So let's just call her Kelly. Hey. Anyway, Philip continued and he said, as soon as the payment is made processed, I will obtain the change of ownership certificate and complete the claims. Kindly send a copy of the payment slip once the payment has been made for approval. Have a nice day. Regards, Philip Morgan. Okay, is this a scam originating in the USA? In Michigan? I have to know. So I create a link at grabify.link that will redirect them to the bank's website. I write Philip and I say, Thank you, my bank is needing additional info. Is this the bank I am sending to? Yes, it is. NetSpend Bank. So it's pretty obvious that Philip isn't a subscriber to my channel because he definitely clicked on my link. Anyone want to guess where his IP address is originating from? He's in Ghana. He's using a cheap phone on a Ghana network. Okay, if he's in Ghana, then why does he want me to wire money to Kelly in Michigan? Hey. So I wrote back and I said, thanks, and do you have a phone number for the owner? Then he gives me a phone number. So I send her a text and I say, is this Kelly? And she says, no, wrong number. What? I said, sorry, do you work with Philip Morgan? He gave me your number and asked me to pay you. I even paste the personal details that he sent me. No response. So I look up the number on freecarrierlookup.com and I see that it's a T-Mobile number. It's not a Google Voice number or a Text Now number, it's really someone in Michigan. Then I run the number at binverified.com and I get a report saying that the number does in fact belong to a woman with this name. And it shows me some possible email addresses and social media accounts associated with the number. Could this be our girl? I go to her Facebook account and I try to log in with her email, but of course I don't know her password. So I go to forgot password and it wants to send me a confirmation code to the phone number associated with the account. And guess what? The last two digits of the phone number match the one that I have. All right, this is our girl, but why is she laundering money for a scammer in Ghana? My hunch is that Western Union is cracking down on people sending money overseas and so scammers are recruiting Americans to be their money mules. Think about it, it's a lot less suspicious to wire money to a domestic bank than it is to wire money to someone in Ghana. Philip then probably gets Kelly to send him money through Bitcoin or something, but does Kelly know what she's mixed up in? So now we know that Nora and Philip Morgan are the same person using this woman in Michigan, Kelly, to collect money from their victims. So I decide to play dumb and I write back to my dear old friend Nora and I say, Nora, I have some concerns. I don't see Philip Morgan listed on the Steptoe Law Firm website. Also, I tracked his IP address and he's in Ghana. See attached. Nora, I think we're dealing with a scammer, Ben. And Nora never responded. So I'm probably gonna text a link to this video to Kelly in Michigan so she's aware of the shady work that she's involved in. And if she doesn't respond to that text, maybe I'll send a link to the FBI tip line. I'm sure they'll be interested. Oh, by the way, I did eventually get another email from Philip. It said, hello to you. I'm sad to inform you that your friend, Mrs. Nora Batten Mustafa is dead. <laughs> Hey everybody, thank you so much for watching and special thanks to Surfshark VPN for making the video possible. You all really ought to be using a VPN to hide your location and secure your sensitive data. 
I always have a VPN on when I'm using public Wi-Fi or when I'm talking to shady folks like Philip Morgan here. Have you ever wondered how advertisers know where you are and what your interests are? It's probably because you're not using a VPN and your browsing habits are exposed, so stay private. Also, I know that a lot of you are in countries where certain content is blocked. And I want you to know that there's a way around that when you use a VPN. So why don't you just try out Surfshark VPN? They're giving you a great deal when you go to my link, surfshark.deals slash pleasant green to get 85% off and three additional months free. So go check it out today, right now. Once again, thank you so much for watching and be sure to like and subscribe and stick around for more adventures in the world of scamming. See you next time.